Hello everyone, here's a question. Reduce each of the following fraction to its lowest term. So reduce means we have to cancel it and we have to bring the numbers to the lowest form of the smallest number. How to do this? So there are two ways of doing it. It's also called cancellation. If you have learned cancellation, it's the same thing. So how to do this? I'm going to show you the normal way that is how to use a HCF, highest common factor of both the numbers and divide it. So here's the first question. I'm going to show you two methods for each question. The first one is 48 by 60. Now in this method, I'm going to do a, like I'm going to find out the highest common factor of 48 and 60. Now what is highest common factor? That is HCF. I have to find out a number which is highest and that can divide 48 and 60. Right? You can see that 48 and 60 can also be divisible by 2. But this is not a highest number because these numbers are also divisible by 4. Like that, how many numbers are, or which all numbers are, can divide this both numbers, I have to find out. In that, the highest one we have to take and divide it. So we know how to find out the HCF, right? So I'm going to use a HCF method. I'm going to find out the HCF of uh, 48 and 60. So we're going to do a prime factorization of both the numbers separately. Prime factorization means we have to write down the numbers in terms of prime numbers uh, or the prime factors we can say and using that we are going to find out the highest common factor. The first number is 48. So we know this number is divisible by 2. So divide this 48 by 2 we will get 24. Now we got 24 this again goes in 2 table which is uh, 2 12 is 24 and again it goes in 2 tables so 2 6 are 12. Again 6 we got, it goes in 2, so 2 3s are 6 and the last we have 3 1s are 3. So when you are doing this, remember that you should take only a prime number, 2 is a prime number. So but it's going in a sequence, like after 2 we have a 3 and after 3 you just check with 5 like that. The next we have is 60, I am going to do a 60 here. Now 60 is a even number, we can divide this by 2. So, 2 3s are 6 and three, uh, 2 zeros are 0. So, we got 30. Now, again we can take 2. 2 15s are is 30. Now, 15 does not go in 2. So, we should take next prime number which is 3. So, 3 5s are 15 and then we have 5 1s are 5. So, you can see that we have got all the prime factors here or we can express a given number in terms of prime factors. So, using this we are going to find out the HCF of this number. So, 48 is equal to write down all the factors we got here. So, it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 and then here we have 60. So, 60 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Now, I hope you all know how to find out the HCF from this. We have to pair the one which is present, pair the factor which is present in both like this 2 is present in both this 2 is also present in both 48 and 60 and you can see this 3 and this 3 is present. Now for this 2 we do not have a 2 here and similarly for 5 we do not have 5 here. So only this numbers we got so just multiply them so 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 multiply 2 2's are 4, 4 3's are 12. So 2 12 is a highest common factor of 48 and 60. Now we are going to divide this number divide 48 by 12 and 60 by 12 right when you divide 48 by 12 we will get 4 when you divide 60 by 12 you will get 5 so 4 by 5 is the answer now this is a long way where you have to find out the highest common factor of both numerator and denominator and then divide now you can see that we got 4 and 5 and if you find out like we cannot reduce this further this is a lowest form now let's see the next question and in this method in this question I'm going to use a different method to find find out the lowest uh, terms. So the number here is 126 by 90. Now in the first one we have directly used the highest common factor and did it right. In the second question I'm going to use a cancellation method. This is also called cancellation where I'm going to cancel this number with a different number a number which can divide both 126 and 90. Now this is the easiest way people normally use this method when you go to higher classes you can use this method. So what is the number which can divide 126 and 90? 
Now you know that we can divide this with 2 because 126 and 90 both are even numbers and we can divide this by 2. Now instead of dividing, instead of writing like division, I am going to do a cancellation. So cancellation means you divide 126 by 126 by 2 and 90 by 2 here itself. If it's your first time, you can divide 126 separately by 2 and write down the answer. Or if you know this, you can cancel here itself. I am going to cancel here with 2. So we got 12 here because 1 we cannot divide. So we are going to take 1, 2, 12 here. So 1 does 12 goes in 2 table, 6 are. So 2, 6 are 12. And we have 6 here. 1 does 6 comes, 3 are. So 2, 3 is 6. We got 63. Similarly, I am going to cancel 90 by 2. So we have 9. 9 does not go in 2 table. So 2, 4 is 8. I am taking a number which is smaller than 9. So 2, 4 is 8. Right? We have 9 and I got 8. So if I subtract this, I will get 1 as a remainder. Right? This 1, I will write this along with 0. That makes the number 10. Now 2 5s are 10. It is like a normal division. How we do the normal division? Same way, but we are doing in a short form. That is it. Then next. So you can see we got here 63 and 45. Now in which table both 45 and 63 will go? So we know that in 9 table, right? We can cancel directly 9 table here. So 9, 5 is 45. And here this one is 9, 7 is 63. I am cancelling this in 9 table. Now we got 7 and 5. Can we cancel 7 and 5 further? No. Because 7 and 5 are prime numbers. We cannot cancel them further. That is it. So this is the lowest form of 126 by 90. Now this method is quite easy and people usually follow this one. When you go to higher classes, you are going to follow this method. So that is it. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.